What's up, guys? This is probably um, weird to see me smiling like this, but I've gotten myself a new computer, a new laptop, and I'm pretty stoked about this. This is finally something I needed because um, I can now record more uh, regularly. As this is indeed not my little brother's laptop, which I have to sneak away from his room <laughs> when he's not around. And yeah, this means that I can basically um, record a lot more and a lot more frequently. Um, and especially since my school is almost done, uh, I, I have a lot more time. So um, expect more uploads, maybe. And as since I just have this computer, I don't really have any teams. Like my only team I do right have right now is this team, which is this is all I have for my match versus day, which is later today. And I kind of just want to play some Battle Factory for now. My Battle Factory rating is, in fact, I'm rank 18 on the Battle Factory score, which is I, I like Battle Factory because you, as you'll see, maybe you've seen like Joey Pokane play this with uh, with his friends, but um, Battle Factory is basically the, the, the thing where you don't have to build teams and you just get a get a random team in a random tier and see for yourself if you can win or. Unfortunately, sometimes I lose, but yeah, that, that's basically the, the whole idea behind um, behind the, the, the tier and behind me playing this tier because I'm a trash team builder, at least for leather teams. And yeah, this is this is like an enjoyable way to keep your prediction skills up. Like, let's keep it like that. Let's see, say it like that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna play a lot, one, two, maybe three games of uh, Battle Victory today, and hopefully, I'm gonna reach the top tens. I might very well <laughs> drop to like below rank 200, which I used to be at for a while, so. Just gonna drop this, I mean he's more likely gonna switch, but why the fuck would I predict? When I can just hide pump and nothing really resist it on the team except for Gurr. And he just leaves it in first to get a stealth drop, so. I do have a defogger, at least I think this is defog. The most sets, maintain sets are defog with Scald and Restalk. Let's quickly check if this is the same. Definitely the same. Yep. Um, just gonna go into this, be safe in case he knocks off. Okay, he woke up. I'm gonna drop my recording thing so I can read what happened. Um, can just sludge bomb. If I get a poison that's on the one hand nice and the other hand would be sucky because that does a lot of damage. So <laughs> maybe I should just have gone for the Giga Drain. But it's fine. Um, hopefully, my pins doesn't take me down. This was a good check to um, best clan though, which sucks. But I still do have, I still do have stuff for that. So let's see. My pins doesn't take me down. Unfortunate. But I can revenge him with the Mesprit and the Psychic. I could have even wished it back up in hindsight. Don't know if that was the play to make. Life or Mesprit's gonna take him down. He's got, the, he's got everything basically on his team that speeds me, so there's not much for Mesprit to, to do at this point in time. So I could use for Healing Wish, but I don't want to speed anything, so no reason for me to not click Psychic. And I'm, I'm surprised he actually went for U-turn, because Boomburst hits my whole team for massive damage. So. But uh, like I said, it's fine. I'm gonna get the stealth rocks in case he doesn't kill me. Look, this man is making a weird place. I do live the acrobatic, so that's nice. So Mesprit gets kills. That's uh, I didn't expect it to get kills. Uh, but hey, thank you. I am looking pretty good uh, versus his team right now, since I do. Yeah, a lot of men months left. I think this is Scarfer Specs, that's the, how do you use the uh, But I will I'm just go into King's Khan. I think it's Silk Scarf. Yep, Silk Scarf King's Khan. And just click Fake Out. No reason for me not to Fake Out and Sucker Punch. It will take down the Shit Out, at, hopefully at least. And if he switches, then he took uh, unnecessary damage on his Shit Out. So that wouldn't be the best play in his end, so I figured he'd stay in. Goes into Basculin. I don't think I... No, this is not Swift Swim, so... Uh, don't need to rain dance light bird at all, so I will just suck it. Uh, a knockoff would be nice on Best Clan if I can make it, but 
Unfortunately, it's not the case. Um, these are most often um, splash bait. The double edge and super power or crunch. I don't remember which of the two they usually run. But with Lantern at being a good amount of health, then I can just full switch. Damn, damage. Go to Kangaskhan. Fake out. If he switches into Best Clean, that's only play to make two possibly wins. That's fine. I can easily sack. Um, sack Manti. Do I spawn a sack Manti? He's more likely gonna go for a double edge of some sort. But um, yeah, I don't need Mantine, I only need the free switch into a Lantern to win. Alright, but for Aquachet anyway, so that's nice. Just want to get rid of these hazards with defogging. Yeah, I don't, I mean, if it gets cold, both, both plays will be fine. Okay, Skull, I don't think he can KO me with a rock slide, he might be able to, but I think it's this thing is defensively infested, yeah. Ghost Present had better does. Not much at all. He cannot flinch me since he's a uh, shield force. And the last thing on his team is basically in which I can just scald until I die. This can flinch me, which didn't happen. And I can just continue to go for skulls. Don't need to rest or anything, so yeah, he forfeits. So that's nice. Um, you won't see my ladder rating, but I am now 1449. And that's actually... Ladder 1449 is... It's rank 11, so I just need one more game to um, to reach the top 10 already. So that's a lot faster than I expected, since usually I only get like 7 points from winning, but I guess this was versus a pretty high rank opponent. Yeah, it was actually. It was just slightly uh, lower than me on the, on this, on the ladder. So I got a quite a big amount of points from that. Which is nice, which is definitely nice. I definitely appreciate you. Um, if the ladder decides to load, that would be nice. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super stoked for me having a new laptop, it cost me like 750 bucks, so I'm pretty poor right now. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, but it's definitely a worthwhile investment, so there we go. Okay, uh, hopefully one more game to uh, beat Blunderous Horse. Let's see, if I get... It would be cool to get like 4th, that, that's manageable. I'll help, like 12 or 13 points, yeah. That seems that seems possible. That seems definitely possible. <laughs> and if I lose, then unfortunately I will probably drop back to below rank 50 since you lose so many, so many points. If you, uh, at least if you lose to a like a low, lower ladder point. <clears throat> but yeah, we will have to see. Hopefully, I will not get Ubers because, like, I can quickly show my rating. <laughs> Okay, I cannot show you my rating because it's too low, but I am 67 and 33. And most of these losses are from Uber, Uber games. It's like a 1 in 5 chance to get an Uber game, and I have I had exactly 100 games. Um, so let's say I had 20 games from that were Uber because there are 5 different tiers. And I only won 2 of all my Uber matches. And <laughs> one of them was with a massive amount of luck, so. And, uh, and yeah, so that means that I, out of all these games, I lost 18 Uber matches, and all the others were more likely OU, you, 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 or you, or any matches. Don't remember which ones. But just want to say, my rating on every tier but Uber is, is pretty good, except for like Uber, which is trash. Because I am not an Uber player, I uh, barely know the tier. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be waiting for this, uh, while we are waiting for this uh, Battle Factory game to, uh, to happen. I will just continue rambling on about I know stuff. Let's talk about TPC. TPC, TPC. I need to um, shine the roads. This is a team I'm having to prep for. Which I have like three more hours for. No, four more hours. I don't know what time zone is. He told me to be there at 7 p.m. So it might be an hour extra if he. Uh, if he is in fact like English time so, so. Um, let's see the fixtures. I've not looked at team looked at these uh, pretty recently. Okay, I do know the scores between these two, and it's actually pretty interesting uh, because this is the number one guy uh, at this uh, at least pre week nine, and this is the number three guy pre week nine. Uh, this is the number four guy, and this is the number six guy, I think. 
and this is the number 5 die, and this is the number 7 die. So these matches are all pretty crucial for whoever wants to get in the, uh, in the playoffs. Uh, I know Lars uh, is guaranteed to get a playoff spot, and I am almost guaranteed. It's, it's for me very difficult to lose. Uh, I mean, as you can see at these scores, I've got a differential which is a lot higher than uh, Nacho. And uh, Nacho is the only one that, like Nacho and even Pierre, uh, is, has a pretty difficult time to beat my differential at at this point. And even he has to get two wins, have to get two losses, and his wins or my losses have to be pretty good for me for him to get up on me. I am I'm pretty safe. Oh fuck, it's Ubers. <clears throat> but that's the GPC update for you. Uh, so I'm not gonna win this game, but I'm not gonna forfeit either. So. Um, Crowdon is so fucking good. <laughs> it really is. It, there's like no reliable thing. Thing is the word. Speed. Ah, oh, didn't win speed. Do right? oh, I have a defogger? Has been more toxic. That's not defog. This defog. This is defog. Cool. Stop drugs. That's completely fine by me, sir. I'm gonna go for the Willow Wisp. He might switch. Okay, at least I broke his sash. <laughs> and I will just continue defogging. Why well, he sets up spikes for no reason. Well, go for Grass Knot. I could go for another burn. I him to switch out or something, but Grass Knot works. Okay, he's uh, he, he had taunt. I'm surprised he didn't defog me earlier. I <laughs> uh, didn't taunt me earlier. To put Prevent the debug. So, hmm. I think I'm gonna go switch in this. Uh, he gets a one spike or one cell block. Yes, that works for the Lugia. Uh, which is definitely more beneficial than a spike for him. Since nothing on my team risks a spike, so, uh, stop work. So, it's gonna be 2 options regardless. And yeah, it's now basically me setting up hazards on his side of the field. Unless he can prevent me from doing so, maybe scissor if he. Okay, he's gonna go into Eveltal. Eveltal does not outspeed me. That's for it. that's for, that's a fact. And I can get up my Stalrox, or I can save this, but I don't know for what reason. So I'm just gonna go set up my Stalrox. Just gonna go for the Dark Pulse, which is fine by me. I'm gonna go for does this get defog? Only one way to find out. <laughs> If he gets defog, then we'll be fine because he gets rid of his own rocks and I can still set up my own rocks at first uh, This reaches 326, this is to Nothing that speeds it, unless it's so far, but anything, no. I'm gonna go into this, I'm pretty sure he cannot defeat me with anything. And I can just fire off a Draco Meteor. Bolt Strike. Draco Meteor, I don't no, okay, he decides to make a prediction and stay in. I'm gonna go for the Dark Pulse, which does a hell of a lot of damage. Holy fuck. I'm gonna go for the Tailwind because he's gonna suck a punch. I know that, I've learned from my, from my Uber games. I'm gonna go for the uh, Training Call. He doesn't actually Tailwind, so that's nice. Um, he is likely gonna go into his Groudon. I think my best play is Kyogre. Okay, he's gonna go to Sunius. I can calm mind up on you, or just go for the Arch Impulse. I don't know how much he's gonna do. He might switch into um, Groudon because he gets the uh, Desolate Land ability and doesn't take any damage from my uh, Origin Pulse. I've actually never used Origin Pulse uh, in any of my Uber games. Let's see if he makes the play, or if he sets up the uh, Geomancy, which he might. He, I think he'll outspeed me uh, after Geomancy, if he doesn't, he will die, he'll die first if he Origin Pulse. He won't let survive that, I, I, no way in hell he survived the Origin Pulse from a heavy rain boosted 100 and 504 special attack Kyogre. Nah. I could be making a play and predict his... Uh, Groudon, but I don't think he'll, uh, he'll make a play like that. At least I don't think it, it's worth making a play like that. Me apologies for checking my phone. 
it's their Skype, so it's not that big of a deal anyway. Um, don't really need Lugia at all. I really don't, so. E rock polishes up. That's that that sucks. Any stone edges. Luckily I can wear them out. So that's a nice thing. Um I can roost, I don't know, I can work with in this case he sets up an ID, but... I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. He's gonna go for the Toxic. Didn't know they were Toxic, to be honest, but that's fine. I can go to Reshiram pretty safely? Don't know if I can actually, but... I don't think I should have made this play. Okay, you're gonna go for Defog, so okay, that's fine, that's fine. Gonna drop a Draco because he's not gonna stay in. He's gonna switch into Groudon. Gonna take a massive amount of damage from that. Uh, he's more likely offensive, um, so I really don't want to stay in. And I win my next Uber game. Ah, sweet. That's that's how you play Ubers, guys. This is uh, Uber 101 with your man, with your boy, with your body, with your pal, with your fuck boy, probably for most of you. But um, yeah, oh, that's Team Builder. So this means I did make top 10. That's that. I can guarantee myself being a top 10. I didn't quite check what rank I was exactly, but um, we'll just have to wait, I guess, another minute before this thing loads. Uh, <laughs> so, what's, uh, what, what have you guys all been up to? Let me know in the comments. I, I feel the need to. Like, talk to everyone, every single one of you, and like appreciation because you watch my videos. That gives me a good feeling, and I, I want to get the feeling back to you as well. So, call me a bitch for being so dramatic. No, dramatic is not a word, but see, being so. Ah, uh, this sucks being not being English, not having English as my uh, my native tongue because I cannot think of the word I want to say. It makes me say words I don't really mean. Okay, I'm rank 7. Rank 7. Hmm. I kinda wanna get a fire. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go for the... Top 3? Yeah, let's go for top 3. I need, I think, again 13 points to get top 3. Uh, yeah, 13. Or 12 if I get lucky and win the <laughs> race between this guy and me. But I don't know what, like, what's the... the, the the reason if someone wants to get BB on top of that, I don't know. You guys understand what I'm trying to say. Um, this guy's team is pretty good. That's how he got Flygon though, so he turns back. I think I'm just gonna lead up with Shen. Don't lead up with this piece, which he might lead up with. I think my best day is actually Blastoise, to be honest. Blastoise Light. That is completely fine. Just to want to go for the Hydro Pump, I think it's going to U turn out. If he wants to go for the Outreads, that's fine. I think it could live. we could be able to live. I think I'm going to be able to live too. Hydro Pump does good damage to the Florages. And I can basically set up three stop here. If he doesn't make a play into like Swampert. Which he doesn't. So stop rocks are really nice. And he makes a play into the Swampert right here. The wish is wasted, so that's, that's nice. That's uh, completely fine by me. Uh, oh nice, I'm Sword Sense. Sword Sense Compass, that's, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go into the Seed Flaring. Does he, he does have a switch in the And I guess Forges, but I don't think I'll bring him. He might bring him Forges, actually. Oh, that's a nice prediction, bro. <laughs> I don't know if you realized I was going for your power, but I guess that's a nice prediction. I... Damn, nice, well done. <laughs> that's all I can say. Um, is he gonna go for the U-turn though, or is he gonna go for the outright? He's gonna go for the U-turn because it's a perfect damage. And I'm go gonna go for the. Okay, now it brings an attack. Well played on his part again. So I'm, I'm definitely facing a good guy, uh, a player that knows what he's uh, he's doing. He did take um, stealth damage though, so that's uh, that's nice. That's nice on my part. I think, honestly, honestly, I think he'll make a double into flight again. Pretty my power. Make a safe play into Floaches. 
I'll go for the second fire. That's his only options. I think his safe play is actually going to the flag on again and clicking outfits or something. Especially since I have Blaster, it's just such a free switching. Should I make the play? Should I make. No, I'm not gonna make the play. I need this too much. Okay, so I did just save the fire. Don't burn. Nice, he didn't burn. Um, gonna continue Hydro Pump, and I think. This floor is in range of. No, he's got Protect, so he won't be in range of the uh, Hydro Pump after Stealth Rock damage. But it's nice to hit him up with some good damage. I could make a double into something like Empoleon, but there's literally no reason to. Ah, uh, he might be. Kinda in range. Nah, he's gonna go for the Protect or the Wish here. It's, it's fine, whatever. He's gonna go for Protect. That is completely fine by me. I'm gonna go for the Roar because he's gonna Wish. I should have not Roared here. That's, that's a bad play, my end. I'm sorry, that's. I'm just gonna go for the. He might super power. If he's gonna do anything, he's gonna super power. Um, do I mind? Nah, I don't really mind. He can super power all he wants. He's gonna go back and approach his head. That's a play I kinda did expect him to make. If I get a burn. Okay, he didn't get a burn. That's highly unfortunate. That's highly unfortunate. Just gonna go for the skull again. I should have made a play. Made a, made a roar play, but. Yeah, he, he made the right play. He made the right decision. He's gonna go for the skull. I am going to go for the Roar, in case he doesn't protect, which he is unlikely going to go for, to be honest. He kind of should, because he needs this for the, uh, for the Blastoise. This is not bad for me. This is not too bad for me. I'm sure scurfed though, so... Going to the Gligar. Don't know what Gligar spread I am, but I was predicting the Focus Blast because I was still type in, so I don't want to go into Crocodile or Hunt's Grove because it's not likely for me to go for a go for the one move that I meant, the Psychic type move. I'm gonna go for Sword Sense as he goes for the Comet, and gonna go for the. This is Moxie Life up. Let them pass. Please don't go for the focus blast here. Do I ever? Did I have earthquake? I did have earthquake. Shit, I should have gone for earthquakes. I'm gonna lose. No, I don't. I don't. Is he gonna make the play? Yes. Oh, he missed. That bad. No, I'm sorry, bro. I should have known he made a play, but yeah. That's highly unfortunate for him. That's that's all I can say, and I'm glad he missed. Because this is, uh, I don't know why he did that play, because I'm this guy. Does this kill? I've got a calculator open. Karuk. Kruk, 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 kruk. Oh, that's his scarf. With plus two. Um, this is, what's the deck? 333. Yep, that's fine. Against the Swampers. Uh, or a Swampers, I guess, this one. Knockoff is not gonna do enough. Swampers is pretty bulky. Perth is bulky. On the other hand... Hmm... I don't wanna weaken this. <laughs> it's probably a bad play, but... It's gonna go for the Roar, actually. Okay, then it wasn't such a bad play. Uh, Brave Bird takes this guy out, and he's got no switchings. He's no uh, switchings to any Brave Birds. I think he should have just gone for the Worm to be honest, but like the Waterfall or Scald. I don't know if Scald would have taken me down. Waterfall would have, I think. Yep, Waterfall would have Scald. This is what actually, what says this? This is not, this is not even the defensive one. Oh, this is Mega Swamp. No, this is normal Swamp. Okay, I don't even know that. Uh -huh. It's it. It's whatever, it's whatever. He's gonna go for the extreme speed because this is only play, and that means that I can go for the scald, or I can make a double switch out into. I can just roar actually. That's completely fine, if he burns me, that's fine too. Oh, this is the reunicorn again. 
I'm just gonna go for Scald, I'm Torrent Boosted, that's gonna do nothing, which is unfortunate, but I just can just go for the Box Blast. And I can go into Scarf Crocodile and go for another. Oh, he might be able to lift this. He is able to lift this, that's unfortunate. He can. Oh, that's. I mean, first one mattered a whole lot, and this one mattered a whole lot as well. But then again, it's Focus Blast, and I know he doesn't choose his moveset, but it's it's it sucks for him. And he was actually pretty high on the uh, thing as well. He was uh, 40 and 35, and I can quickly find him on the ladder right here. That's why he did make good plays. He was uh, he was basically on 17, and I am I think second now, 1477, meaning I am third. Third. That's what I meant actually. I am third on the uh, on the uh, Battle Factory. Leather, leather in you. And I don't want to jinx my rank, so I'm gonna keep it at this. And um, I, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this. This is a uh, battle factory. I, I really advise you to play this. It's really fun. Uh, you sometimes you have a, a bad matchup, but then again, it's 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 still fun to play. Uh, you have to make predictions. You have to to know your opponent. Well, not know your opponent, but predict your opponent. And you don't have to build your own team, so that's a, a huge advantage. And I would also advise you, if you want to play this with friends, uh, if you want to play something with friends in the lands of Pokemon and uh, competitive, I would definitely advise you to play this. Or something funny like um, Challenge Cup 1 versus 1, that's also hilarious to play versus friends. But uh, this this is definitely uh, this is definitely a thing that um, that I would, do, I would recommend. I would recommend. That's that's I would recommend. That's 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 me repeating myself five times. <laughs> I don't fucking know anymore. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, I see you later today or maybe tomorrow, depending on if I have time to edit um, the uh, GPC match. And uh, I, I will be building my team uh, right now. So, thank you all for watching and see ya.